What is up guys? Welcome to your 14th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over constructors, what they are and why they are useful. So first of all I want to tell you guys what a constructor is. A constructor is a function that gets called automatically as soon as you create an object. So before what we could do is we could create an object and use that object to call functions from our class. Well now as soon as we create this object it's going to call a function function called a constructor. We don't need to explicitly use that object to call a function. It's going to do it automatically. So if you're saying, all right, Bucky, you talk to talk. Time to walk to walk. Show me an example. Well, creating a constructor is incredibly simple. To do so, it's basically the same as creating a function with a couple weird rules. First of all, I need to tell you guys this. Constructors never have a return type, so you don't need to type int or void or string or anything like that. The only thing you need to do is type the constructor name. And the constructor name is always the same as the class name, the exact same. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it right here. And that's how your C++ program knows that it's a constructor because once it comes across a function with the same name, it knows that that is the constructor. So let's go ahead and we'll add no parameters. And in the body, what do we want to happen as soon as we create this object? Um, we can have just, you know, maybe it'll print something out on the screen like this will get printed automatically. Pretty cool, huh? So now we have a constructor that's going to get called automatically as soon as you create an object. And you're saying, alright, you keep saying that, but what exactly does that mean? Well, say we have an object from Bucky class named BO. Well, before, we would have to write BO dot yada yada yada, whatever we wanted to use from it. But now, as soon as we create this object, this constructor is going to get called. So let's go ahead, build and run this, and see. This will get printed automatically. Well, blah, blah, blah automatically. So you could see that before we needed to use that object to call functions but this is a special function called a constructor that gets called automatically as soon as you create that object. So you're saying alright that's pretty cool and interesting but why wouldn't I just you know print this out on the screen or something else? What's the use of a constructor? Why would you even want things to happen automatically? Well, typically, people don't print things out in their constructors. Actually, if you see anyone printing something out in their constructor, then they're an idiot and you should slap them upside the head because constructors, the main reason that people make constructors are to give variables an initial value. So, for example, um, this class has a variable called name, but it might have another variable called age, height, weight, favorite color, favorite sports team have all these variables so as soon as you create an object from that class you might want to assign a bunch of values to these variables right now so in order to do that here is what you do whenever you want to take a value and assign it to a variable you need to add a parameter in your constructor so let's go ahead and assign a value to this name right here and in order to do that we need to pass in string and just name it Z or something so now what we can do is we're going to be passing it in a string to be setting it equal to name well we already have a function that does that called set name so in order to do that just go ahead and call set name with the parameter of Z so now later on whenever we want to use our constructor our constructor can take a parameter as well and for our parameter let's just go ahead and write something like lucky bucky Roberts and now what's gonna happen is this as soon as we create this object it's gonna call a constructor with a parameter lucky Bucky Roberts so it's gonna go up see if it has a constructor oh I do and as my parameter I need a string and for a string we gave it lucky Bucky Roberts so anytime it saw Z it plugged in lucky Bucky Roberts so it says alright in your constructor you told me to set the name equal to Lucky Bucky Roberts. So it basically set the name equal to Lucky Bucky Roberts. So pretty much Lucky Bucky Roberts got passed in the Z, which got passed in the X, which got passed in the name. So that's why our name was Lucky Bucky Roberts. So now that our name is Lucky Bucky Roberts, that uh, gets kind of repetitive saying that, but anyways, we can just go ahead and you know print it out on the screen or something. So 
of course to access anything in our class you use the object and of course the get name just like that function so let's go ahead and build and run this and we have int main we got a problem here hold on one second let me find it oh I see what the heck how in the world did I do that for some reason I must have actually hit paste or something but I copied the word name outside my class <laughs> I just wrote the word name randomly in the middle of my program. <laughs> so remember not to put words randomly in the middle of your program or else it won't run. So now let's go ahead and build and run this and check it out. Lucky Bucky Roberts. So that is the basics of a constructor, how they work, and also how you can add a parameter to your constructor. And basically the only times you wouldn't want to add parameters to your constructors is whenever you're taking those variables that are inside your class and you want to set them equal to values initially so that is basically why a constructor is useful whenever you have a bunch of variables in your class and you want to set them equal to values initially um, that is how you can do that so here is that example and you just printed out our name so simple enough so aside from this I guess I have time to show you this one thing you might be thinking alright so I have an object from this Bucky class named BO and its name is equal to Lucky Bucky Roberts. So does that mean later on if I were to create another object from the Bucky class named like BO2 and I set this name equal to um what's even dumber than Lucky Bucky Roberts? Um Sally Mick Salad? That's uh, that's what's on my mind right now. So does that mean that I'm going to overwrite this one? Well, let's go ahead and print out um bo2 dot get name just like this so let's go ahead and print it out and see what we get lucky bucky roberts and sally mcsalad so what i want to stress is this whenever you create an object from a class each object has its own set of variables so this object bo name is lucky bucky roberts this object is named sally mcsalad even though they're from the same class it's not like changing the same variable so even though we set this bo2 equal to sally mcsalad it didn't overwrite this they're just from the same template pretty much so anyways what i wanted to stress is that you can create multiple objects from the same class and they don't overwrite each other they're just assigned their they're assigned their each set of variables am i saying that right they're each assigned a set of variables so yeah just wanted to stress that before you get into uh, objects and classes more and you get confused. So anyways, that's just a little side note. Stick with constructors and then once you're good with constructors, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial. But for now, thank you guys for watching. And uh, remember, don't stick words into randomly middle of your program. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next video.